Hey Lola's. I just thought I would bring this little one back on. Um, I don't remember how I showed her the last time if she was in pink or not. But that's her little tummy plate. Um, let's see. As always, it's a half tummy plate. Here we go. Mm, it's there we go. So yeah, that's that's the tummy plate. It kind of just wraps around the belly, which is good. There we go. All right. So for those that may be new, this is um. Aspen, sculpted by Claire Teller, painted by me. I am going to um, I, I was going to change her. I didn't even bring anything to do her hair over, but I might just change her. So let me take off her sockies. I actually like her in the pinks. I think she looks really nice in pink. Let's see. And we can zoom into her little legs a little bit more. So you guys can. Those are her legs and her little feet. Alright. Oh gosh, what did I do? Alright. Now, get this back. <laughs> so, yeah, she is 19 inches long according to the sculpt um she has a newborn she fit newborn size clothing um she fits newborn size diapers the diaper that she has on now is fairly big it's probably like a size one or two but you know what i'll switch her out to an actual newborn diaper let's do that newborn let's go ahead and get her switched out some of the things that I collect outside of the dolls itself that's doll related is um, diapers I love to collect different diaper prints so I tend to have quite a bit of diapers um, I've given quite a bit away to like real babies but um, I still have a really crazy amount of uh, baby diapers because I, I love the the prints and I like to have them in different size sizes I'm ashy <laughs> I like to have them in different sizes so that um, all the babies can wear them hang on let's see oh, let's see we get a little bit closer um the camera always tend to like smooth out any type of details but that's also one of those things too where it can work for you or against you um and and when i say for you i don't know if that's kind of deceptive in the way that i'm thinking sometimes you have babies that um look better on camera because the camera smooths out the painting and then there's some that it works again and when i say it works against you is when it smooths out um, the coloring and then it doesn't show any type of variation of the skin tone or um, like mottling or undertones or anything like that the camera just decides it's going to do its own thing and it doesn't um, it doesn't show the details her hair actually looks nicer when once it dries it's just that it's not brushed it's a little bit more fuller when it's um when it's dr dried out, it kind of fluffs out a little bit more. Um, but I haven't, of course, did anything to it. And she's just been laying on it. Okay, mama. So I just wanted to flip her over to take loose her buttons. And of course, I made her more floppy. 
So a lot of times when I take her photos and I use her tummy plate, people been messaging me asking was she a full body? And the answer is of course no, as you can see. She's she's vinyl, um, reborn. And also um I think some people that are fairly new to the doll hobby don't really understand what's the difference between vinyl and silicone. And if you're new and you're wondering that question, um, silicones are very soft, kind of feels more like uh, flesh. Um, the vinyls, they are more um, firm. And we still call it soft vinyl because you can like kind of mash it a little bit, but it's still hard. Um, people don't like to, to say that, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. It is hard compared to silicone. But because it has a cloth body, it allows it to have a softness and a cuddle factor that's like beyond amazing when it's weighted right and they fall like a real baby. The head allows the head to flop and you have to hold the head like a real baby. Um, type scenario so um, vinyl although you know I can't sit here and deny that silicone has definitely a wonderful feel to it I can't um, I can't necessarily say that uh, vinyl does not um, I think a lot of people want silicone because of the feel and that makes sense because it is a whole nother level of realism in my opinion the soft silicone or just silicone like even ecoflex 20 i know the new soft is like everybody's hyped up about it but before we knew about we started experiencing the soft we had ecoflex 20 and that was soft to us and so even at ecoflex 20 what a lot of people don't get to if you you know if you find the opportunity to get ecoflex 20 and it's you know you're not gonna never be able to afford. Um, I always get confused on this thing, and you know you're not gonna be able to afford the um, another baby, and you love the sculpt, the painting, everything is right, but it's Equiflex 20. I say go for it because it's still gonna be softer than the vinyl. Don't mind me with this thing because I always. I, you know, I like um, Jamie K stuff a little bit. I don't, it's not like my favorite clothing line. I have certain mommies that I follow that makes it look better than any, <laughs> anybody else that wears it because the way they match it up and put it together. But for me, um, it's not something that I just like, oh, I just got to have it type thing. But I love the way these outfits fit, and that's why I have so many of them. I love the way they, they, the baby feels so snugly in them. So I like the way they feel. So I bought a couple of them when they were on sale. And I only will buy Jamie K if, if it's on sale. Just simply because I don't, I don't love the, the style enough to feel like it's warranted for me to spend that amount of money for something that I'm not like. Oh my god, I just love that I gotta have it type thing. Um, I've there was a couple things that like their sweaters now and stuff. I, I do think they're worth every penny and the quality of their clothing is very nice. Um so I did buy my um real daughter Gabby and um uh, my grandbaby some during the Black Friday I think sale. So I bought them some like nice sweaters and cardigan type things. And I got Gabby some pajamas because we're a pajama addicts <laughs> in this house. So, um, and I got so I got her some pajamas and some also sweaters and stuff and shirts, a few shirts from there as well. Um, grandbaby, you know, just more sweaters, not as much clothes because she's you know almost two and she's gonna be messing up everything. It's not worth spending that kind of money on them for them to just destroyed <laughs> so you're kind of looking at her from a upward view so it makes her mouth look more wide open okay i think that's a better angle but yeah so 
I just thought I would put her in that. Um, I could have um, put a nice little cute little hair bow in there. I really made it, you know, give her a more girly look. I can pop her thumb in her mouth. There we go. <laughs> um, that's the other thing about this baby is that she can suck her thumb on both hands. So it's pretty cool. And it'll stay. It'll hold this, this position. So I love that part about this sculpt as well. Um, the sculpting is beautiful on this on this kit, actually. Um, which Claire Teller does very, very beautiful, like, um, sculpting. Um, her and Bonnie Brown is, like, my top sculptors that I love. I love their work. I think they they really put their heart and soul into their work. Um, I yeah, so I, they're they're like my favorite babies. So anyway, um, I mean my favorite sculptors, and these are some of my favorite babies right now. I like I said, I have her up for sale, but I don't know if I've had. A, a lot of inquiries and then there are a couple people asking for layaway right now i just haven't been taking layaway especially if i don't really i've never did business with you i don't know how your business practice practices are and i know people will be like i have a reference yeah but you know it's crazy because people will do one person one way and do another person a different way so i like to go off my own experience when it comes to layaway and stuff like that because i don't want to be stuck holding a baby and then you know, 30 days later, you want to cancel, want to make a big to-do about getting the money that you paid in back and all that stuff. I just don't want to, you know, really deal with that. But I'm thinking that um, if I don't sell her, and I, I really, it's kind of crazy for me to say this when I haven't really been actively trying to get her sold, <laughs> I think because I wrote a caper, um, I think I am going to not worry about it type thing um like i said this this baby we have such a history thing with this back and forth sale not sale bell sale not sale sale not sale um i discounted her at one point during the christmas holiday usually that's when most people stop spending because they're buying christmas and stuff like that so it's just been a lot circling around this particular baby but i don't know like i've always like i've always like loved this particular one um so i might just keep her <laughs> that's that's you know that's how it goes sometimes but yeah but this is her um i love how um the rooter rooted her hair to the point where it's full but it's still baby thin um that you could still see like the um coloring in her scalp and the veining in her head and stuff like that I, I i love that because i hate when i do all this nice veining and then it get lost in the you know with the hair and stuff so i really really can appreciate that um part of her rooting and yes i have shoes over there let's see try to but yeah so that is her and if i don't know like can a girl name be real I think I might still keep her name as Rio, but I think that's still a boy name. Um, if not, I'll have to come up with her a whole new name. And it's funny, I want to call, I don't know. So we'll, we'll have to think about that. But I'll let you guys know for sure come next week. I am actually going to see and... I promise if I take her off the market this next time, I'm not putting her up again. I promise, I promise, I promise. Um, but yeah, um, I think that's where we're at. I am done with this video. I'm going to show um, Katie Lauren next. And yes, I'm calling her Katie Lauren because I just feel like she's just going to have that name. So she's already dressed, but I just want to show you guys what, what she's wearing. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.